So, hello. Hello. We're here at the ID Tech Hack Show, and, and who are you? And we're Toyobo. And the, what is this? This is Xenomax, one of our film products that we have displayed today. And uh, you enable flexible e ink. Yes. We use this film and then to, to create the e paper. All right, and it's here also in a 13.3 inch. Yeah. Uh, so, um, you basically you work together with e ink, you provide the whole panel, so right? We, we provide the film. Yeah. And then together with E-Ink, the panel goes to all the different manufacturers, like this one, for example, 13.3 uh, inch. Yes, we provide the film for this product, uh, digital music score. And so that enables 13.3 inch flexible displays, unbreakable also. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and this is the film? Yeah. Yes, this Just is our film. As you can see, we can. it's really thin and light. This is one of our thickest but it's really thin. And how does it work, this technology? How does this work? We have a professionalist here today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our researcher, uh, Mr. Tsuchiya. Let's hand him over to him. All right. So, um, it's very high heat. Yeah. This film has very high heat resistance up to uh, 930 uh, durable frequencies. And it has very uh, excellent uh, dimensional stability. It's almost the same with glass. So we can replace the GFT uh, service that usually used glass, but we can uh, sub substitute the glass to this film. So most yeah. displays yeah. are using glass, but in the future, more and more could use your material. Uh, yes, if you hope so. It's also uh, now we. Uh, and this flexible? Yeah, this, this, this is just flexible. This box size is their max. Usually this is glass, so this doesn't break. Unbreakable? Yes, unbreakable. And flexible and displays? Yes, and it's very light. And it's just yeah. for e ink, or is uh, are you also going to be working with OLED or LCD maybe? Uh, yes, no. We are, we are working as a company for making not only uh, <laughs> paper, also some other sensors or uh, like this book or flexible OLED display. So in the future, maybe uh, we hope this film is all introduced to this display and uh, it uh, create a new new. Uh, and you're the market leader for this business. You are uh, every 13.3 inch e ink mm. in the market is using your 10.10.1 10 inch. Yes, now ink using our film up to more bigger size, practically uh, efficient paper. Every every big size is good to use your. It also makes everything much thinner, right? It's much thinner than using the glass. Ah uh, yes, the cement is uh, about to 18. 18 times thinner. 18 times thinner. Yeah, usually the glass is 0.5 mm, but this film is only 0.04. So how does the manufacturing happen? Um, mm. The the e ink layer mm. is is like a sandwich. You have e ink, mm. and you have your film, and what else is going on in there to make it work? Um, so our film is used for just just a uh, substrate for electronic paper and uh, upside this one uh, ink makes some other layers for detail and we are not, we're not sure. So and then um, hopefully the price gets optimized and soon hmm. everybody in the world is going to be having something like this. This is yeah. so light. Yeah. This is uh, I can't even feel it. It's like paper. Yes. It's like paper weight. Is the only thing you need to add is battery? Uh, yes, we need uh, the batteries and uh, some systems like this paper. This is uh, maybe the Linfini device or maybe another one. So um, right here, this is the device. It's Very thin. This other device is that, and you can use this like a note. Notepad. Yeah, notepad. Uh, so this one has a, a Wacom layer also, yeah. and you can just write. How about you? Yeah, you can write something. That's easy, right? And the 80 degrees. Nice. This is so cool. Yeah. 
So, um, <laughs> your company has been working on this for a long time? Yes, we work this for more than 10 years. More than 10 years, but yes. uh, in the last two, three years, a lot of things happening with e ink, big yes. screen, right? Yeah, yes. And hopefully accelerating very fast. Hopefully, uh, it will be many millions of people are going to be using this. Should be, right? Yes, that's right. Because this is really cool. And tomorrow you'll have right here uh, musicians yes. performing. Um, so this is great for notes. What will happen tomorrow yes, here? Tomorrow we'll be having, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we'll be having a violinist and also a singer uh, showing this. Uh, we'll be playing a small gig using this digital music score. And the violinist will be using this digital score and playing her violin. And she'll be taking notes on this. For example, if she needs to write down crescendo or piano, she can write this and save it on her paper. Nice. And share it with her team. This is the Guido. This is called Guido. It's available in the market. Yes, it's sold on the internet. And nice. All right. So and um, so hopefully um, millions of musicians will be able to buy this stuff. Yes, it's really light and portable. <laughs> it's, it stores many music scores, so it'll be really a useful uh, music score. And how's your partnership been with the uh, with E Ink? Um, uh, you've been uh, uh, is it very very close collaboration with Ink, and um, so using your technology together with them. Yeah. Uh, for long years, uh, we and Ink uh, collaboration with this uh, display, and uh, from now we also continue the uh, continue, continue collaboration with them. All right.